Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 64 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I already made it to the top of the cultist tower, so now let's get their legendary treasure. And it's the Soul of the Massa. The Soul of the Massa is probably going to be your most powerful relic for a mage. What it does is it allows you to cast two spells in a single turn. That's the good news. The bad news is, if you have this equipped, you cannot use the Esper in battle. Therefore, you have to use it wisely. Preferably on someone that has no Esper at all. I'm gonna put Valagarmanda. No, I think I'll go with Bahamut instead. On uh, Terra. Let's see, I think I'll put... Yeah, Gilgamesh, you stay on. I'm gonna put, say, Valgarmanda on Celeste. Strago, you use Leviathan. In fact, you can still learn Flood. I'm not gonna worry about the Soul of the Massa, because that's. We're gonna save that for another time. I don't think it's gonna serve us much in the next boss battle. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, we can't leave. Turns out the cult has caught on to us. And now they got us surrounded. We can't escape. Like, we don't even try to move. Lord Kafka's treasure. Return the treasure. Okay, now I can move around, but here comes the boss. This one is very powerful. In fact, it's highly recommended you have re-rays taught on at least one or two characters before you even attempt to fight this guy. Or get very lucky with jump. Yet this is gonna be the most powerful mage you will fight, the Magic Master. In fact, it's a good idea to have re-rays on everyone. As long as you have the Reflect Rings on, he can probably beat himself. Of course, that would take a very, very very long time. You can also take out its most powerful attack, which is Ultima, by draining all of its MP. That is, if you have enough time to take out 50,000 MP. And if you're playing this on an actual GBA, your battery will drain before you even get a chance to get halfway there. You better be hooked up to the uh, AC adapter. Otherwise, you'd be in trouble. Okay, so now re raises on everyone. That's good. Now let's take some of its magic. In fact, Terra will need to take a lot of it, but I think I'll use Ultima once. No, not Ultima, maybe Flare. Then I'll use an Osmos. It's pretty sad to see him hit himself so many times. He becomes his own lightning rod. In fact, he does it again! This guy does not learn. Oh yeah, and he can use Barrier Change, too. So he'll change his different weakness. But luckily, I don't really use Elemental Magic, therefore I have nothing to worry about. I don't know how useful you're going to be, Gilgamesh, but give it a shot. At least this guy is not inherently reflective. Otherwise, he'd be a lot harder. Unless you were having to bounce flare spells off yourself. Which you can do at your own leisure. But luckily, it's not needed here. Okay, as long as you're well set up, you cannot lose. If you're ill-prepared, well, you will lose. No exceptions. Okay, let's try Valgarmanda, see if it will either help us or hurt us. Then again, I haven't even used it once. Might as well see what it can do. Now it's using fire magic. Uh, 
That is so sad. Now he is absorbing fire. If he can absorb either ice, lightning, or fire, he will get HP back. Even if he's weak against the other. Sadly, he... Like, pretty much all the enemies here, they counter everything! Like, any spell, they have to use another turn. Oh, and Kidu. Nice. Does it help us, though? Better. Ah, Final Fantasy V lore. Ooh! 9,999 damage! Nice work, Ankito. Huh, Terra just now getting her turn? Jeez, took long enough. Oh yeah, you can see this battle being long and frustrating. Try disaster. Do not absorb it, do not absorb it, you better not absorb it. Okay, it did no damage. Great, what a waste. Ah, it was worth a shot. I kinda had a feeling it would not go well. Let's try the tidal wave. Surely you cannot absorb water or nullify it, can you? Let's find out. <sighs> we can. That is just very shameful to use this most powerful effect and it does nothing. There's like a wow, nice effects. Oh, you fail. He should not be using Barrier Change on his own attacks. That should not count as a counter. That was his own move. That's what makes this guy annoying. Look at the flare, it was just centered to his crotch. It's just like, like everybody gather around. Look at his crotch, it's awesome. Luckily, I don't have to worry about Quake, because I don't think he uses it. Here, let's give Mega Flare a shot. It's just no surprise, considering the length of the battle, you can have people casting for up to five minutes. Look, Strago and Celeste are still casting. They've been casting since, like, halfway through the battle. I'm not gonna have Mog use any magic, because his is not strong. I don't really use him for magic. Would've been nice if he could actually use his Holy Lance to cast Holy, though. Once I deliver the last amount of damage to him, he will use his finishing blow, Ultima. And if you don't have re-raise, then, well, you're gonna lose. Unless you have more than 6,000 HP, which nobody's even close to at this point, you're gonna die. Oh, here it comes. And if you outlive it, you'll win. Yep, I wasn't kidding when it said it was gonna do that much damage. Let's get our health back. We're the only ones left standing. Granted, we took quite a beating. But we win! We get a Mega Elixir out of that. Okay, now we gotta get out of here. We pretty much did our part. I missed one encounter, and I'll get to that at another time. But I'll put on the Malulu's charm and let's escape. Are you sure I cannot use teleport at all? Do I have to actually walk all the way back? Yes, I do. Well, we got no choice. 
So yeah, at least we got that out of the way. What am I doing? I thought I hit down. <sighs> I thought I hit it again! There is still the matter of a cutscene that involves Gao. There's still the matter of that Gigantoir in the desert of Miranda that I'm probably gonna need to perhaps level grind just a small bit. Remember, you have to make sure that your entire party has at least more than 2,000 HP. It will help. Trust me on this one. And there's still the matter of the dinosaur forest next to where the uh, old man lives. That's, that's optional, and I'll do that in my own time. I keep thinking I hit up or down, and it doesn't do it. But yeah, there's some small things to do before I can finally head to Kefka's Tower. Some of my party members could use a little bit of leveling up, maybe around level 35 or so. I don't want to have it too high. It's just me. Speaking of Gao, I think I'm gonna go bring him in right now. Why not? We got plenty of time. I'm not gonna worry about equipment yet. Okay, Gao is important. And I'll bring Locke, Edgar, and Saban. Give us some guy time. Why not? I guess everybody's tired of seeing girls get all the fun. Now, let's go this way. Ah, there's the house. The reason why you'll want to bring Gao to this is, well, you're going to find out for yourself. Oh, hello again. It's been a while. Let me tell you. Those repairs of yours were top-notch! I told you, I'm not... Now hurry up and fix that chair over there! You're gonna need to stand on it so you can fix the roof! And yet we're leaving. You don't suppose... Go! Couldn't that man be your father? Whoa! Come on, Go! Don't you think? Father? Yeah! That guy's gotta be your dad! Go! Dad? Whoa! Go! Alright, let's go tell him! He needs to know you're his son! Wait a minute. This is a once in a lifetime event. We should at least dress you up a bit. Let's go to Jador and get you spiffed up. Now, this cutscene is not necessary, but it's nice to see. Oh, Gao! How many times do I have to tell you not to eat with your fingers? But we're having chicken wings! Whoa! Don't say whoa when you mean sorry! Yo! <sighs> How do you like these? When they look good on him? Oh, but I like those other ones so much too! For everything you liked, boy wouldn't be able to move. What was that? I did nothing. Didn't say a thing. Whew, that was close. What to do? What to do? Oh, this is nice. But I need something that will look good on Gao, don't I? Hmm. Oh, pick something already! What did you say? <laughs> nothing. Now this is a fine and jaunty little hat. Maybe if he were a clown... What was that? If he were a crown? Ha! We don't want his father thinking he's some kind of prince now, do we? Ugh! I know just the thing! That's a Kent bogey! It's perfect! Functional, yet sporty! That's, uh, not exactly what I had in mind. Ugh... Not an ounce of fashion sense among the lot of you. Excuse me, sir. Could you order another set of clothes like the ones I'm wearing? Sense or no! We're trying to make them look better, not worse! I've got it! A tuxedo, a silk hat, 
and a rose between his teeth. Talk about overdoing it. Sheesh! I guess we'll have to go with a bandana on his head after all. Oh dear god. A bandana? I thought we were trying to make him look presentable. Guess we all know better than to expect any sort of class out of lock, though. Ooh, what was that? Why don't you try saying that again? Ouch! Jeez! Hope to god that Valiant Knife wasn't equipped. Listen, Gao. You're gonna go in there and show your father what a fine young man you've become. Yo! Does he get to keep the suit after this? Excuse me, sir. Who in blazes are you? Oh, repairman? Sir, you had a son once, didn't you? You did, right? A son? Yes. You see, sir, he's alive. Go, speak up. Father. Huh? What? What's all this business about a son? Uh, I don't have a son. But now that you mention it, I once had a terrible dream. A dream in which some kind of demon child was born. I grabbed the thing and rushed off to the vault with it. The thing was crying like crazy by the time I got there. But sir! I left the child there, and then I turned around and ran, trying not to look back. I'm trying to tell you! Then all of a sudden, the crying stopped. I turned around. And there was some frightful monster! Never seen anything like it! Hideous! Still gives me the shakes when I think about it. I give up. This guy's hopeless. But you, young man. Your parents must be proud to have such a fine son. I still dream about being chased by that demon child terrifying those dreams. Why, you old... What in your mouth? Not even so much as thinking about Gao's feelings? You want to beat some sense back into you? Whoa! And then he just leaves. I... I'm sorry. They're alive. Go happy. So practically all Gao cares about is that his father is alive. At least he knows that much. Okay, as for that dinosaur forest that I mentioned, well, here it is. Right over here. There's only two dinosaurs you can fight, which is the Tyrannosaurs, or the Tyrannosaur, and the Brachiosaur. Brachiosaur is the most powerful enemy encounter in the game. I'll probably consider taking those two dinos on and Gigantoir in the next part. See ya, everyone.